Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our April 11th fish report for the Jersey Shore. And today we've got some exciting news for our Bloodworm giveaway. Yeah, we did. We finally, uh, after what, two grueling weeks of voting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was it was a uh, uh, no contest. Um, Jersey Hooker Outfitters and Brick guys. I don't know if uh, I think Amanda is the is the manager up there. I don't know if Amanda heard watched our video and she got all her family to vote. But man, it seemed like I mean it was like right after that video uh, went up last week of the finalists to vote on Jersey Hooker. Just I mean. Gosh, it just, uh, the text line was, it was just up. blown up. Yeah, It was just like, oh, Jersey Hooker, Jersey Hooker. So, I mean, hey, congratulations, Jersey Hooker. You are going to be our third uh, spot where we're going to be doing our blood ring giveaway. Uh, so keep your eye uh, on our channel for next week for more information on that because the giveaway will be coming next week. Uh, we'll let you know more details on that, obviously, next week. Uh, but what it's going to be is Great Bay Marina in uh, Mystic Island. Uh, Riptide Bait and Tackle in Brigantine, and then Jersey Hooker Outfitters in Brick. Those three will be having a blood room giveaway, uh, courtesy of Jersey Boys Outdoors next week. So make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Um, is that all we have to talk about I right now? That's all we got for now. So with that, I'll jump yeah. into my That's right. report. First, I got uh, John Guile. Normally, he uh, fishes out of Chestnut Neck. Uh, but this week, he stayed a little closer to home, fishing in the Delaware River in Ben Salem, uh, PA. He landed two stripers using bloodworms. Uh, John did not have a tape measure, so of course he used the next best thing, his shoe. Oh my word! So my, exactly I, think, I, said I not to said use. Not to use a shoe. I think I think he did out of spite. He was like, "Oh, he said don't use his shoe. I'm using my shoe." So my guess would be this is about a 29 inch. Uh, as I say, are you sure he doesn't have like a size, you know, 17 well, I, shoe? I you know, know, like I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it's a giant fish. <laughs> so. Maybe, maybe we need to get shoes with like rulers on the side. There you go. Like, I, yeah. I should invent that. Measure your shoe. We'll cut this out <laughs> so you guys don't take that idea. <laughs> uh, Brian, I have Brian Valentine. He was uh, he was out Monday night uh, fishing the rivers up in North Jersey. Hooked into five, but only landed four all in the course of about an hour. He said they're still crushing the eels. And Riptide Bait and Tackle shared this uh, report from Anthony, who took the lead in their 2024 spring Riptide Derby uh, with this uh, 30 and a half inch, 11 and a half pound striper. Captain Andy said stripers are feeding and brigantine. Now's the time to get out there. Plugs and jigs with uh, rubber worms have been working well along with blood worms. Yeah, blood worms. That's, yeah. Seems yeah. to be the ticket uh, right there. We're going to be giving some away. So, <laughs> uh, all right, I got to start off my report with Mark Gilch. And guys, if you don't remember Mark, uh, go back to our videos this time last year uh, because, man, the guy just knows how to get it done on the Delaware River. Uh, he has caught so many fish over the past week that I have to literally put up a collage, which is going to take up the whole screen, um, of all the fish he caught. And he is also our current leader uh, in our largest striper contest for the month of April. He caught this 47 and a quarter inch monster. And yes, we do have photographic proof of this fish being 47 and a quarter inches. Uh, guys, if also, if, listen, if you guys want to be in our contest, all you got to do is shoot us a uh, picture of your fish with the fish next to a ruler, um, and uh, that'll get you entered to the contest. That's we caught in New Jersey. Hit us up on any of our social media sites or through our text line, and you guys can get entered. Uh, but Mark not only was catching monsters himself, he also got his buddy Anthony uh, Faringo into the action. Uh, Anthony caught this 42 and a half inch monster. Uh, they're doing all their damage on blood worms. Like I said, it's in the Delaware River. Uh, <clears throat> Jamie Grant was able to get land this 28 inch. Uh, fish, which she safely released. Uh, she said she was fishing near the Causeway Bridge in LBI, and of course, using bloodworms. And then finally, I have Carl Chen, who I think we're just going to hold a permanent spot in the report for because I mean, Carl, Carl is out every week and he always gives us good reports. Um, he was fishing with Febby Phillips, Carl Hartman, Dorian Greenbloom, and Chuck Bloom, Brad Rogers, and Tim Moran. Carl was able to land his personal best, Carl Chen, that is, uh, personal best from land with his 40 inch bass. Uh, they landed several bass and some fat perch. Uh, they're, again, fishing northern rivers in New Jersey, and they were all caught in blood worms from arts, tackle, and fly shops. So, guys, make sure you pay attention next week uh, for when we drop the video. It may be in our, our report. may not be. It's going to be up for you guys to pay attention to uh, when those blood worms are going to be up and how you can be eligible to get them. Uh, always send, send your reports, and we'll see you next week. Good luck, guys.